something slightly bigger than mini quads today. I finally got my 650 build off the ground after working on it on and off for about oh, two, three months maybe. Um, I was half expecting something to go completely awfully wrong and for it to crash out and destroy itself, but it actually flew really well even on the stock bids. So this is the Taro 650 Sport frame. Uh, after having built with it, I actually wouldn't recommend it. It's got a couple of really bad design decisions, which made it a pain to work with. Uh, now it's built though, it should be okay, and it flew fine today, so there you go. These are the Taro 4108 380 kV motors. These are 14 inch props. Uh, the frame will do 15, but I couldn't find any 15s with the the right um, type of mount, so these are 14s at the moment. I think they're 1455s, I'm not entirely sure. Um, we got some Hobbywing X Rotor 40 amp ESCs underneath. They're major overkill for the motors, these only pull about 15 amps at full throttle, but they're meant to be really good for large, slow spinning motors with lots of staffers in, so there you go. Flight controller is a Pixhawk running the latest version of Arducopter. It's got a GPS and a compass on a stalk there, which folds down flat for travel. Uh, we've got a X8R on the back for our RC radio. We've got a separate 433 MHz uh, telemetry radio from Mavlink. That one's from Holy Bro, I think. I didn't know made things like that. But it's a generic sort of open source design, so there you go. Uh, we've got a couple of regulators, 12 volt and 5 volt, to power all the extra stuff with some spare connectors for the, the rest of the kit going on. Uh, I left the gimbal, the action cam, the FPV cam, the video switcher and the VTX off for the first flight because I figured if it did go wrong and it crashed or flew away I would damage or lose as little as I could but that's the gimbal controller, the gimbal will go on the, the rails here and there's the retract controller which controls the motorized tracks. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll put a quick bit of flight footage in, nothing particularly exciting, it was just making sure that it flew, everything was spinning in the right direction, uh, but yeah, good day. If it does explode, I'll have it on camera, so... <laughs> so, if any of them run backwards, as soon as it gets like a millimetre off the ground, it'll flip over. Okay. Okay, that's a start. That is a good start, yeah. Well, it's not like jittering around. Yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, when you spin, you get a thing called toilet bowling. Uh huh. Like if you imagine something going around a toilet when you flush it. Right. Ah, I see. And okay. the, the closer it stays to one spot, the better. Mm -hmm. So that's actually pretty good. So that's nice. This is going much better than I expected. Oh, is it? I was expecting it to immediately flip over, I see. break half the components, and then... Or if it did work, I would change flight mode, and it would just turn off in mid-air or something. I see. Yeah, it's really sluggish in GPS, but... Let's try the next one. Yeah, it's much quicker. I wonder what the angle limit is. I'm guessing it's 45, but... I'm not inclined to test it. <laughs> yeah, that's full stick forwards and in, in um, loiter. I see. But it flies remarkably well for stock pits. Well, that went better than expected. That went quite well. 